Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Software Bill of Materials tutorial. The Bill of Materials is a list of all of the items included in your design and contains the pricing and information of each item needed to generate your reports. To open your Bill of Materials, navigate to the View and Settings tab at the top and click on the BOM icon found in the ribbon. The Bill of Materials view panel consists of a top toolbar and three tabs of items, plan items, non-plan items, and additional products. Each item listed below each tab will display the number it is in the BOM list, the quantity amount, its catalog, SKU, description, dimensions, and hinge side if it's singular, and its price and extended price. The Plan Items tab will display all of your items that are added to your floor and elevation views. The Non-Plan Items tab is where you can add any non-plan items that will not be visible in the floor and elevation views but does need to be added to your customer's invoice, such as extra cabinets, extra moldings, tow kit covers, touch-up kits, etc. The Additional Products tab is where you can add factory quote items, like items that won't be coming from your cabinet manufacturer, or other products that are to be included in the customer's invoice, such as plumbing fixtures, countertops, building materials, etc. To add non-plan items, simply drag and drop them from your catalog panel directly into the Non-Plan Items tab in the Bill of Materials. You can quickly change the quantity of an added non-plan item by selecting it in the Bill of Materials list and double-clicking on it to launch the item's attributes. In the item's attributes, change the quantity field under the General tab and then click OK to save. To add additional products, Click on the white paper icon from the top toolbar. Select a catalog that the added item would fall under and then fill out the information accordingly. The quantity amount, the product's description, an SKU or plan notation, give it a price, and then any additional notes like finish styles, etc. Then click OK to save and it'll add it to your bill of materials. Clicking on any item in the bill of materials will highlight and select it on your plan views and you can use the tools found in the top toolbar of each tab to edit items and render your bill of materials. Simply select on an item from the list and then click on the tool desired. The Info tool will launch the information dialog box of the selected item. Delete product will delete the selected item not only from the Bill of Materials list, but also from your floor plan if it is a plan item. The Edit product tool will launch the attributes of the selected item to make attribute changes. The Copy Product tool will copy the selected item and then prompt you to paste the copied item somewhere on your plan view. Replace Product will launch the Product Replace dialog box and you can then select and replace the product of the selected item. Move Item Up and Move Item Down will move the selected item up or down in your Bill of Materials list and change its Bill of Material number. The Display Labels with Bill of Material Number icon will turn the display labels on your plan view to display the BOM numbers of each item next to its SKU. Click the tool again to switch your display labels back to the default. The Combine tool will combine any line items of the same SKU into one line and change the quantity number of those items. 
Then the last two tools, BOM report, will generate a PDF slash print ready report of your bill of materials with or without the pricing. You can do both. The first icon will generate with the prices and the last icon will generate without the prices. And that's it. Now you're ready to generate your bill of materials to ensure accurate reports for all of the items included in your design projects.